Hello students, this video is based on lesson number 4 that is climatic regions. So in this climatic regions as we have already studied about the introduction part that is what is climatic region. It is basically division of climates on the basis of high and low temperature which are observed. Okay. Now climate cannot be specified by one single day. Okay. You need to work on it for many years by the observations. Then and then only you can conclude that this region has this type of climate. Okay. So you have to do a deep study about it and you have to study uh, uh, you have to study on deep observation. Then and then only you can conclude with some climate of that region. Now uh, these climatic regions are divided into four types that is low latitudinal region, mid latitudinal region, high latitudinal region and high land altitudinal regions. Okay. Now as we can see in this, this is a world natural regions map. So here you can see equator. So equator is at 0. So from equator to 20 degrees north and 20 degrees south. So this area is most probably covered by the low latitudinal region. So this area is totally close to the equator. Hence it is very very high and the temperature over here is also very hot. So these regions are called as low latitudinal regions. So here you can see that we have equatorial rainforest climate. We also have tropical monsoon climate. Again we have tropical savanna type of climate and tropical desert or arid type of climate. So these types of climates are seen in these equatorial rainforest climate. After that beyond 20 degrees north or 30 degrees north up to 40 to 60 degrees north and 60 degrees south you can see after the low latitudinal region then comes the mid latitudinal region. Okay. The mid latitudinal region is the middle portion of low latitudinal and high latitudinal region. So mid -latitude, uh, latitudinal region basically consists of Mediterranean type of climate which is totally medium type of climate where you can see moderate rainfall, moderate sunlight. Okay. So everything is balanced. You can also see a China type of climate and subtropical climate in the case of mid latitudinal region. We have marine west European type of climate which is seen here in Europe as well as these are only the three types of climate which we can see in mid latitudinal range. Now the next is the high latitudinal range. Now high latitudinal region, so this is the place which comes beyond the 55 to 60 degrees, okay. So these areas are basically near the poles, okay. So all the polar areas at the north as well as south will come under your high latitudinal region, okay. So the things like ice sheet, tundra type of climate, taiga type of climate, so these are all considered as the high latitudinal regions and the last is the high altitude region. So high altitude region is also one of the most important uh, type of uh, region, climatic region which we are going to study. So today in this video we will uh, we'll study completely about which are the climatic regions which are included under your low latitudinal region. Okay, so let us start with the first low latitudinal region that is equatorial rainforest. Now to start with the equatorial rainforest, so now in the equatorial rainforest it, uh, it completes or it consists of the uh, places from 5 degree to 10 degrees of the equator. As I said that equatorial rainforest that is low latitudinal region is totally close to the equator. So from the equator 5 degrees to 10 degrees to the north as well as 5 degrees to 10 degrees to the south is covered by the equatorial rainforest. Now here the sun rays are always perpendicular at the equator and because of that the sun rays are directly overhead. 
so because of this the days and nights are almost equal you can see that uh, if the day is for 12 hours the night will be for 12 hours so this is how the days and nights are always equal in the case of equatorial rainforest next is the length of the amount of insolation remains nearly constant throughout the year so if you see that the rays the rays of the sun so these rays uh, and the amount of insolation the exposure to the rays of the sun is constant throughout the year so because of this there is no concept okay there is no concept like seasons in this equatorial rainforest the concept of summer winter are being not hot and cold seasons do not exist in the parks the it season that is inter tropical convergence zone now this is an area where there is low pressure in the equatorial rainforest this is where the northeast and southeast trade winds converge converge means what they meet each other who meet each other the northeast and the southeast winds okay these winds they meet each other and that particular junction is called as inter tropical convergence zone they move north or south with the apparent movement of the sun heavy precipitation is associated with warm humid of the doldrums and the unstable conditions along the itcz and the low pressure areas so because of this there is heavy rainfall means in during the day it is very very hot and at night it is very very uh, very very wet with an heavy rainfall so this is how the equatorial rainforest climate is differing although there is no season it can be called as dry during some months it may rain only for 15 to 20 days okay as i as i said you that there are no seasons in the equatorial rainforest but most probably this region is called as a dry region and it rains for few months for continuous few months for 15 to 20 days so in short if we say that the extension the latitudinal extension which an equatorial rainforest cover is the 5 to 10 degrees north and south of the equator as you can see here it is 5 to 10 degrees north and south of the equator okay and as it is near the equator the sun rays the sun rays which comes from the sun they are directly overhead okay now as uh, it is very close to equator one more point we can include is that the days and nights are also of equal timing or equal duration here there we don't have any type of particular season okay it rains any time it is very very hot temperature we can observe here okay so uh, the geographical distribution of equatorial rainforest is from 0 to 10 degrees in both the hemisphere that is north as well as south the area is where we can see such type of climate is amazon basin congo basin east coast of central america madagascar malaysia indonesia philippines and new guinea okay constant high temperature is observed in this area because it is near near to equator heavy type of precipitation precipitation is in the form of rainfall which is near about 2500 to 3000 mm which is evenly distributed every year and it is very very heavy rainfall okay here you can see total land is covered with forest you have different different types of trees uh, you have the creepers grasses tall hardwood trees short scrubs okay and you have animals reptiles all the types of animals you have so you have large amount of biodiversity in the case of trees as well as the animals okay and the soil which you see in the equatorial rainforest uh, type of climate is totally iron rich soil where you can see there is most probably a chemical type of weathering the tribes in inhabit the dense forest so this is all about the equatorial rainforest so whenever a question comes regarding equatorial rainforest you have to mention that it is near near to the equator it is from 10 degree to uh, 0 to 10 degree north and south okay the sun rays are totally perpendicular because of that the days and nights are all, are almost of equal length you can also say that there is no uh, any type of specific climate 
you can see that it rains throughout the year it is also very hot throughout the year in the day time it is very hot at night it is uh, a bit colder and it rains for about 2500 mm to 3000 mm which is very very high rainfall okay you can also see that there is a large amount of biodiversity found in equatorial type of climate like animals and trees are uh, different different trees are found here total area is covered by the forest most uh, probably it is covered by the forest the uh, places like amazon basin congo basin madagascar malaysia indonesia philippines all these places are also included in such type of climate so this is all about equatorial rainforest climate we will study about the next uh, type of climate in the next video thank you for watching do subscribe the channel